Okay, welcome to Lights, Camera, Barstool, the week of March 20-something-ish. Uh, it'll be April 1st when this drops. For then, it'll be April 1st, but we'll be, it'll be the news, I guess, of... Yeah, April the, Fool's. Of late, Mar- of late March, yeah. What year is it? Yeah, who knows? Uh, who knows? Today, we're going to do a little bit of news, and then we're also going to do a draft of all of the best movies uh, and titles and most anticipated things that are coming to streaming this next month, the month of April. So by the time you're watching this, they'll already be out. Uh, some of them, a lot of people, most, most streamers, they drop like a bulk of their shit on the first. So most of them already be out. Uh, but before that, we got news. First item being that there is a Real Bros of Simi Valley movie coming up this summer. Very random, out of nowhere announcement. That wasn't one that I think no one didn't hear any rumblings about it whatsoever. A very interesting, very funny sh- series. I'm interested. I'm interested to see just like a little return back to the, those, but that's the same original four uh, dudes. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, when was the last time an episode came out it's been what seven years it feels like a decade basically yeah i've never heard of this actually really Really? you've definitely seen clips of it i don't know you know the like i I saw this announcement baby he's yelling at the the baby baby. you've seen the clip it's like yo this baby's looking at looking at me weird (laughs) i don't know uh but ken jack my prediction would be it's gonna be like the entourage movie where it's just like so good ignore <laughs> yeah <laughs> but ignores the seven to eight year age gap and just like yes. picks up like an episode yeah yeah, yeah. Is, is one long episode yeah we'll show you we'll show you a clip i don't think we can get suited for i that. don't think i've ever seen this that's surprising yeah but yeah also that movie is good it has you'll a- recognize everyone because it's jimmy tatro loves yeah. cody co he's funny nick coletti the sadu guide yeah um so was this this was a web series yeah it's Season one it was like was Facebook. On Facebook or yeah, season like two Facebook was on watch Facebook or whatever yeah. they were trying to do with huh. Facebook for a while. <laughs> no, I'm good. Straight up, Xander's my boy, but not this Hawk fool, okay? Hawk's a dumb name. <laughs> like, you own the place with your cool van, steezing. You're some sort of God. <laughs> steezing. You're not God. You're a one-year-old child, okay? Everyone's jumping on his little baby dick, especially his <laughs> little one-year-old douche. Like I've known you since ninth. Grade. <laughs> You've known this guy for maybe a year, maybe. Yo, why is he looking at me like that? What's up, little bud? You got a staring problem, pal? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at you. He's a baby. He's just look at his face. A dumb little face. Stop. Yo, Zan, get your boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny it's is a very that's doing a movie wow yeah and that was like the most famous clip i would say but uh that i mean they just it was a funny series this is just i think very out of nowhere but uh, a i good would think i would love if tatro pulls in a bunch of cameos yeah on this for because sure. now he's like just so much more connected like obviously he's dating zoe deutsch and has been for a while oh, but he was I in with that either yeah. is that awkward for you Have for you me slept with her yeah <laughs> it is a little awkward uh i mean i love the guy but First chance I get. <laughs> um, Zoe Deutsch. Uh, I mean, like he just did theater camp, so he could pull yeah. in, like Io Edibiri, like yeah. that whole crew. Um, yeah, no, it'd be nice to see like actual actors instead of just like, like just uh, yeah. Because I don't know if like just having well, Vine have, guys uh, for two hours is gonna yeah. work. They did have what's his name Spence. Uh, he's in Righteous Gemstones. Um, you're not talking Gizmodo? about Who? what's his name. Oh, Jizz Giz Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in Semi Valley. Oh, I oh was he? Yeah, he worked in the surf shop or skate shop. That's that a good casting. Perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good casting. Sense. Uh, next up, the Unfrosted, a Pop-Tart story trailer dropped. Uh, Seinfeld's directorial debut. His first live action role since playing like, I think it was like, like Prisoner Number 2 in <laughs> Pros and Cons in 1999. Random movie. His first live action role since then. Obviously, he was in B-movie and plays himself in a bunch of other things. Uh, humongous cast. Obviously, Seinfeld starring Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, uh, Hugh Grant, Christian Slater, Dan Levy, Maria Bakalova, Thomas Lennon, Max Grin- Greenfield, uh, Bill Burr as JFK, which is very funny That's in the trailer. Funny. <laughs> Fred Armisen, Ronnie Chang, uh, Jack McBriar, Jim Gaffigan, Bobby Moynihan, Mikey Day, Kyle Mooney, Tony Hale, Dean Norris, Sebastian Maniscalco, Beck Bennett, Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer, John Hamm, Peter Dinklage, and more. Huge cast. Massive. The, it was very tough to nail down a vibe based on the trailer, I would say. Um, to me, it, it felt very much like the Daniel Radcliffe Weird Al movie. That was the first thing that came to mind where I'm like, this just seems like you get a little kernel of core truth and then just sprinkle it with lies and craziness and ridiculousness. And I think it'll uh, kind of be a movie where you watch it and the quality of any given scene will depend on the actor that's cameoing in that scene. So like when you get Bill Burr, JFK, maybe that scene's amazing, but then the next scene you get Amy Schumer doing whatever and you hate it. So uh, I think... 
I'm I'm excited. I mean, Seinfeld was this passionate about it. He'd been tweeting about it since like 2018. He'd been like no, he, talk yeah, shows. He, yeah, he seems to have like one idea at a time, and it lasts decades. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he worked on that Superman children's book for That's like right. eight to ten years, and then he did B movie, and now he's been thinking about Pop Tarts since 9/11. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> since he has knobs and, and being able to stop thinking about Pop Tarts. But I don't know. I'm interested. Uh, I thought, I thought the Weird Al comparison was very good. When I saw that, I was like, because I, I watched it like off your quote tweet. Mm. So I kind of like looked at it with un, under that lens or whatever, through that lens. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have like high hopes for it. I'm not like excited for it. I think yeah. it kind of looks bad. Yeah, Amy Schumer also being like a very heavily featured and coming off like the last, I don't know, three months she's been on. She seems to be like the villain months? in it. Which I guess is smart. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, years, but like the last three months at Earth Plus have been very rough. Or I would say maybe since October. Well, tough? she liked the zone of interest. She, yeah. Good for so, her. <laughs> point Schumer. I've been completely, I'll be honest, I have not seen this woman in the news for months and Me my neither. life has been better for it. Yeah. Better off for it, yeah. How did you not do? She was like yeah, she, stung by 47 bees on a late night that's show. Right. Didn't you see that? What? Not actually. No. Sorry. No, that's no, just no, what no, she no, looks no. like. That's April Fool's. That's a good joke. April Fool's. Uh, she, uh, or not she, but Jerry Seinfeld, terrible actor, right? Yeah. Just terrible actor. Yeah. yeah. Um, doesn't give me high hopes for this. Like, there's no real standout star. Like, a lot of these guys are nice bit players, but I don't think there's, like, one person in there that's going to carry this movie. And that worries me. Like, Jerry Seinfeld being the star in this, I don't think he's got, like, the juice outside of Seinfeld to really make this enjoyable. But that's what I think is good about this being an ensemble cast. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it being like not carried by him, but there's so much him being a vehicle to deliver you to the next star for their five minutes. You know what I mean? Their yeah. five minute set, basically. But I could see that getting old fast. It's also yep. true. But I also think it's almost like a little anthology ish, mm -hmm. you know? Like remember in the Weird Al thing where like some bits it'd be like, this actor's bit sucks here, but then you get to like Jack Black doing Wolfman, whatever, and like I'm like, this is kind of funny. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, it was a hit or miss movie. Yeah. Owen? Scene by scene. Yeah, no, I was just, as you were describing the Weird, Weird Al movie, uh, that's how it's like watching Inherent Vice for me. <laughs> Dude, every time you watch Very Inherent similar. Vice? There's scenes where, like, oh, this rules, this cameo is nice, and then yeah. there's scenes where it's like, oh, this one's not. Two seconds later, you're like, this is not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the trailer for Kinds of Kindness, last thing, uh, Yorgos Lanthimos, <laughs> fresh off an Oscar, dropped the trailer pretty quickly after, too. Uh, a man seeks to break free from his premeditated path. A cop questions his wife's demeanor after her return from a supposed drowning. And a woman's quest to locate the extraordinary individual prophesies to be a renowned sp uh, spiritual guide. Emma Stone, Margaret Qualley, Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, Hunter Schaefer, Joe Alwyn. Alwyn, right? I think so, yeah. Right? Swiss old boyfriend? Yep. I think. Mm -hmm. Hong Chow and Mama Duathi all starring in it. Uh, trailer, you don't really get a ton out of it. It's more like a teaser. It's just kind of like flash, 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 flash of like little scenes. Uh, not a ton to take away from, but Yorgos has been crushing, obviously. So, I mean, probably going to mm -hmm. be great. Him but, doing a movie in like modern day is intriguing. To very me. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Him doing a car, like a movie where people whipping a cars around. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's see what he's got in like real life instead of just like a fantasy land Yorgos type environment. That's a, that's a great point. Like no, coming after all the other ones. Yeah. Even like it wasn't like visually him right away because yeah. you're not used to it but then it'll be cool to see how he plays if you told me world. like yours would make a movie where people were doing donuts like a yeah. year, I'd be like, nah, fucking but even life. that like one canary. shot of the car doing donuts in the motel parking lot i was like shit that's like shot really well yeah. like, like yeah. the framing of it and everything is like yeah. that looks really fucking cool dude i mean plemons i'll be there day one mm -hmm. i mean it's got plemons in it and Danny, i'm sure he's going to be a comedic relief <laughs> so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm all ready for dude, it civil war getting good reviews by the way you see all that yeah, that movie, I'm excited for it, but I'm also dreading the discourse yeah, <laughs> around gonna be, it. It's going to be so annoying. Yeah, yeah. Owen? Uh, about what? Civil War or Kinds of Kindness? Kinds of Kindness. Um, my main takeaway was seeing Joe Alwyn, who yeah. I only know from a tweet where he had Taylor Swift sit in the chair and he <laughs> sat in the booth <laughs> yep. on a date, which I didn't know was a no-no until that tweet. Uh, yeah. No, that's a thing. I was always taking the You got to give up the booth. Oh, no. no you you were get doing the booth. I thought it was so like, much better. But I thought it was like, like man rules, dude. It. They get the booth. <laughs> um, since that day, I have not. But yeah. for that reason, I'll go see Kinds of Kindness. Also, because I love your yeah. movies. The, that the, we should... to. Uh, like advertise this episode to promote it we should have a sneaky picture of owen like taking the booth <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god owen bar we should make like a, a drinking game for this where it's like how how many minutes in or like more like a prop bet thing where like how many minutes in do you get a fish eye shot like <laughs> oh yeah because like, yeah. your is so distinct with the way he does that sort of shit uh yeah, he shoots on like an eight millimeter yeah he, he loves a lot of weird shit um 
Okay, so now we're going to do a draft again. Draft of uh, movies and shows that are coming to uh, streaming. The big four, uh, Netflix, Max, Hulu, and Prime. Uh, This next month, or if you're watching this, this month, the month of April. Uh, I randomized the order ahead of time. It's going to go me, then Owen, then Gooch, then Robbie Fox. Uh, So starting out, I'll just hit right away. There's two I'm really dying to get. I think the the first one I'll do is The Sympathizer. Which is a new series that's coming to oh, yeah, uh, that's, Max. It's the one with RDJ, right? Yeah, Rob Downey Jr. Oh, supporting yeah. role. Oh, Sam, oh, like, oh is that Park Chang Wook? Yeah, it's yeah the, yep, yep. It's like the Nutty Professor. Oh, yep. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but yeah, yeah. Everyone's been saying it's like the Nutty Professor. He's playing like four roles, but he's not the lead, right? No, he's not the lead. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. No, he's a supporting character. Assume. It's like a lesser known um, actor as the lead. But this dude, it's um, based on like a book that's like it won a Pulitzer. Like people love the book. They say it's amazing. Uh, RDJ, or rather, uh, yeah, RDJ, Sandra O, oh, a couple other supporting people, the main actor. I, I, I was trying to I look through some of his credits. Like I didn't know a ton of them. But it's a series based on the story of a captain in North Vietnam, Vietnam, uh, Vietnam plant in the South Vietnam Army. He's forced to flee the United States with his general near the end of the Vietnam War. Uh, while living in the community of South Vietnamese refugees, he continues to secretly spy and report to the Viet Cong, struggling between those uh, original loyalties and his new life. Like you were saying, um, Park Chan-wook did Old Boy, The Vengeance Trilogy, The Handmaiden, Decision to Leave. Super funny. This is going to be like a dark comedy too. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very pumped for this. Um, and hopefully I can get my other one I really want on the turn, but I doubt I will. Yeah, this uh, shit rules. Like, no matter how dark it is, there's also uh, jokes. All there's the also time. jokes. And he's so good at that shit, Park Chan Wook. Uh, Owen. Um, I forget what streaming service, but I will go with Trent Reznor's The Social Network. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. on, <laughs> that on my yes, list. That's, that's on, on Max. HBO Max. Or just, just Max. For just the, Max. Come on. Yeah, shut the fuck on. up. Reznor's best. <laughs> I'm on HBO, guys. Trent Reznor's. It holds some power. So back to back Maxes. You you're a big social network guy. Yeah, I uh, I took Bella Bay to it on a date in seventh grade. She's now a lesbian, and we didn't nice. talk. I was locked in. <laughs> was so How could you by not be, good, bro? Dude, yeah. yeah, Eisenberg Melvin Garfield. Sims. Yeah, it was really good. Also, one of my favorite uses of a Beatles song in a movie ever. To oh yeah, close the movie yeah, out, yeah. Baby, you're a rich man. It's so good. So, I think so sick. the first date I ever went on was to Yes Man, the Jim Carrey movie. Oh yeah, oh, Zoe yeah. Deschanel. Uh, yeah, right? she's this the, the pixie yeah. manic. Yeah, wait, what? Oh, 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 I thought you meant also yours. Or no, yes, no, man. not How yes. Man. Is that <laughs> Social network, go. Yeah, uh, but no, she we did not speak the entire time before good. or after. Like, <laughs> that's it good. Was, it was really bad. Yeah. It was the perfect date for me, for yeah. like in a dude's rock sense, but it was Just walk to the parking lot, go to like your separate parents' cars. Like, literally, that's exactly <laughs> what happened in like the Saville movie theater or something in whatever year that was, like 2008. And then or she something. probably went on a date with some tall kid from public school oh, and from, kissed him. Probably from Saville. Yeah. Fuck. I went on a, a Joker date. That was weird. Oh, and I had seen it already. You were in makeup too, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had seen it and tried to say, like, no, I don't think this is a good date movie. Like, it's a kind of a downer. She's yeah. like, I want to see it. And I was like, all right, I guess we're going to yeah. see Joker. By yeah. Joker date, he means it was, he was dressed as a Joker. It was 2008. Yeah. The state <laughs> was Colorado. Uh, <laughs> things got really dark quickly. Yeah. Uh, Gooch. Uh, I will go older, slightly older. Uh, Total Recall on Prime. Nice. Uh, classic. Uh, we talked Roadhouse last week. I said I thought Jake G was a little miscast because I didn't think he could sell the cheesiness of it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, not the actor Jake G is, but he has an ability that Jake G doesn't, mm. which is like, he can sell anything. He's Velveeta. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, like it's just like straight cheese, but it works every time. I mean, he is getting outacted by Sharon Stone in this movie. Doesn't matter. It's so much fun. A little long, but the sci-fi stuff holds up so well. Mm-hmm. Sharon Stone holds up so <laughs> She's so hot in this movie. <laughs> so Insanely hot. hot. Um, is this the movie where she does the the leg? Switch? No, that's uh, that Basic movie? Instinct. That's her though, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, she's in a very nice '80s like workout gear in this movie. Yes. Yeah. I seen Total Recall. It's on my list of like classics. I haven't seen. That's been it's like great. one of my favorite cap cut things recently. Is the the clip from Total Recall where he's like, "Why are you taking me? I did nothing wrong. Why are you doing this to me?" <laughs> <laughs> I like the the one where it's like watching a Ryan Gosling movie. It's like you are me. I'm yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that little freak Quaid. Uh, oh not Quaid. Who was the, what was the name of the, the guy that was attached to the other guy? He had a funny, he had a, oh, I can't remember that. Like Quaid, not Quaid. I think it's Quaid, but that's the name of him. just got engaged. You're married. Who? Oh, fucking Quaid. Wait, conjoined twins? 
Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, it took me. Oh, okay. Bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they, fuck. What was that? Was his name had a weird name. Like he had like a Quaalude was his name or some bullshit. But no way was it Quaalude. It might have been. <laughs> yeah, def- definitely check out Total Recall. It's a fun movie. Bad remake. Bad bad remake with Colin they Farrell. Made that? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, with Colin Farrell. It was it was a big fat. Oh, dog. and it was like super like serious sci fi, right? Yeah, uh, it was very dark and yeah. not funny. But yeah, this is a good one. Fuck, what? Dean Norris was in this. Dean Norris is in the original Total Recall. Yeah, uh, Michael Ironside, amazing yep. in it. They're minerals, Marie. Cohagen, great last name. I mean, anything anything Verhoeven is always going to sell for me. I love that. That's a great pick. Uh, Robbie Fox, two picks. Uh, I'll start off with a Netflix comedy one of my favorite comedies role models yeah oh hell yeah just funny every single time especially as a nerd who grew up obsessed with kiss oh yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) like getting a kiss larping scene in this movie amazing every single cameo ken jong is so funny fucking jane lynch with one of her best roles ever (laughs) okay you know what yeah. I have for breakfast? Cocaine. <laughs> and not have for lunch? Cocaine. You know what's sneaky? The funny, her dinner? funniest scene was the scene with her at the hot dog. The hot dog going like, in and out. She's like, what does that remind you of? <laughs> yeah. So, so fucking, fucking funny. funny. And the the scene where he's showing uh, the little kid Kiss for the first time. Yeah. He's like, I didn't know Jews could sing like this. Yeah. He's like, they couldn't. That's why they dressed as clowns. Yeah. He's talking about his cock. Yeah. <laughs> he's like so, nine years I'll old. go role models first pick. That's on Netflix. Dude. Joe Latruglio, um, one of the all-time great small roles oh, yeah. yep. ever. Rub a dub dub. And the out the outtakes too, I think from Royal Models is one yes. of the funniest you oh, funnier I've seen reels. I mean, you white, you Ben Affleck. That's yeah. all time line. Like, Love take now to <laughs> that actor. I don't know who that fuck his name is. He's so funny in it. Great he wings. Great. So, hey, I'm wearing a McCartney shirt. Oh, there you go. Shout out McCartney and Wings. Yeah, they're their best song. <laughs> and uh what do you call it? Um can you pick us up at five? Fuck you, Miss Daisy. <laughs> every time. Every time. Uh, second pick. I'll go with Cloverfield on Prime, mm. the original Cloverfield. One of my favorite monster movies, found footage movies, scary movies, if you want to call it that. Um, takes you on a friggin' journey. I love Cloverfield. I even yeah. love 10 Cloverfield Lane. Obviously, a much different movie, but um, yeah, fuck the paradox. We don't talk about that one. <laughs> that was a wild thing to drop still. They're just like, yeah, actually, it's a I loved movie. the thinking behind it. Like, we're dropping a Super Bowl trailer that yeah. says the movie's out the second the game is over. It's a very cool like, idea. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. The movie just stunk. Yeah, that was a big time bummer. Um, great movie, though. And great theater experience. I remember watching it in theaters. That was a sick one. Uh, yeah. Gooch, you're up. Oh, I'm back up. All right, I'm going to go Netflix, even older, Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah, both of them. Uh, not a movie I've watched in probably since I was a kid, but I'll probably go back to it because, I mean, just rules. It's, uh, uh, yeah, Burt Reynolds being the coolest guy maybe ever. Um, Great car. Jerry Reed, uh, country legend. Uh, yeah, the car rules. It's, yeah, dumb movie, but it's good. Mm-hmm. That's Definitely. like your dad's favorite. My, my dad yeah. loves Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah, no. Eastbound and down, <laughs> yeah. loaded up in trucking. Great song. Uh, yeah, no, it's fun movie. Yep. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, Owen. I am going to go back to back Sorkin and take Molly's Game Great from one. Hulu. Netflix. Yeah. Molly's Game on Netflix. Um, I love playing poker. I think Molly's Game is actually the best poker movie ever. Oh, really? I do. Over like rounders and all those other ones? Yeah. Um, surprisingly, Molly's Game like knows the game of po- like the yeah. movie they get how poker's played like R- rounders is decent too but some other ones are like not yeah um so i appreciate that and also it's just fast paced rips molly's scheme when kevin costner shows up out of nowhere and just steals the, se- the scene out of nowhere it's yeah. cra- that's like one of my favorite the, acting performances he's had on the park bench yeah yeah that jeremy incredible really good in it yeah. Who yes. plays uh, Michael Sarah? Player X. Yeah. Who's Michael he Sarah, supposed to be? He's supposed to be Toby Maguire. Yeah. 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 He's and, uh, and when they have the game in New York and there's like high athlete, I think that's A Rod. Yeah, I believe so. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, very. I watched it for the first time pretty recently, like maybe like a year ago. Mm. Really liked it. Very, very under. Yeah. Very Sorkin, though. It's, it's like super yeah. Sorkin. Yeah, it's like there's not a moment where there's not talking. No. <laughs> Did he the first it? 15 minutes are all a VO. Mm-hmm. from her it's um, crazy it's and it's just yeah, yeah. it's, it's a lot of such dialogue and talking but it's good was he did he direct it too or am i think i'm thinking i'm thinking schrader directed it but he also i might be confusing because he directed a it's recent a poker question, movie actually. which was bad do you remember the card counter yeah the card counter 
That's right. I think Sorgan might have directed Molly's yeah. Game. Yeah, I think he was because this is when he did that. Yeah, and then he, he did, did like the the trial of the Chicago Seven yes, or something. That was his trial. <laughs> I didn't watch that. It's boring. Me neither. Boring Fucking movie. Lib movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got back to back. I'll start out with um, Fallout on Prime. Um, very excited to watch Fallout. No oh, idea if it's going to be oh, good. Didn't know that was this month. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, out. I saw Dogs, that. Right? And I saw that and thought it was Mission Impossible. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fallout the as in the video game adaptation. Um, Looks pretty good from pictures. Yeah, I mean the trailers are awesome. Walton Goggins is. Uh, you had a great tweet about it. How he's like sneakily one of the better TV careers out there. Yeah, his resume is insane. <laughs> like the number yeah. of great shows he's been a part of. Mm -hmm. Fights was telling me his story with Kurt Sutter, like convincing him to cast him on Sons. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, like how he's like, nah, people recognize you too much from the Shield. He's like, make me a fucking trans woman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> they done <laughs> for three seasons, and he murdered it. Yeah, the uh, he's just an incredible actor. Obviously, he's playing a ghoul in this, and the ghouls are so interesting in the Fallout world. I love those games. Uh, New Vegas is one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's a really cool concept, and I think the uh, the fact that Jonathan Nolan's production company is in charge of it mm -hmm. is very promising, and he's directing at least the first three episodes. Uh, that's huge, and he did like Westworld. He obviously wrote like half the movies that. Oh, I didn't know he did Westworld. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Yeah, Lisa he, Joy on this too. Yes, Lisa right. Joy's on this. He also um, Wait, he did also, he write Westworld? I believe he wrote. Oh, at I least didn't know the first that. I never watched Westworld. Damn. Yeah. The first yeah, season is that's great. a big hole for yeah. me. Honestly, yeah. you can watch the first season as a standalone. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree with really? that. Really? And just bow out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah think I think it works on better its that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Second season is. I know there's commitment. some shows that it is. Just like don't, that way. Rough, don't yeah. watch the last five minutes of the final episode. I think that's when they set up the second season. But yeah, yeah I'll say that. It works functionally. Harris as just a single season or that show. Uh, he's really, and again, like he also drew, like wrote half the movies um, yep. alongside his brother. Uh, Came up with the line, uh, "You either die here yeah, or live long enough to become a villain." That's his line, like, and, like one of the more <laughs> like I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, love all I love Walton Goggins and that rest of that crew all looks good too. Um, and then I'll back to back that with I'll do, and they they cheated us out of this on Netflix a couple months ago, and I was pissed about it. Uh, Black Sales, uh, Black Sales, I think is one of the best shows i've ever watched i think it's awesome i think there's very few series out there that manage to hit the same sort of levels that game of thrones hit at its heights of like combining really cool world building with really great set design great acting phenomenal writing really good like intrigue so like mm -hmm. political factions all warring at once you trying to keep track of it and seeing who's going to betray who when like very few shows have ever been able to replicate the heights of game of thrones there and i think that black sales does it and they do it at a very high clip i like the ending a lot of this series that doesn't run that long um all the actors are amazing really really like black sales a ton and i think more people should watch it and hopefully they actually release it because they they said they were going to i think in january and then they never did which is fucking bizarro but hopefully they actually do this month to Love piggyback that off that have you been doing shogun yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. we've, we've. I think at least you've you've been on it. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm yeah. an episode I've behind. But, yeah. I'm also Spoilers, one behind. But I'm going to dive into. Yeah. Soon. Oh, it's, it's really good. that worthy of the Game of Thrones comps. I think for sure, at least so far. Um, yeah. yeah. But we'll especially see. like in editing, like that's the biggest. Like, like the way they the structure the show. Almost. Yeah. yeah. <clears> it's, it's very. Especially it's like ninety percent of it's or like probably more like like seventy percent of it's in like a foreign language. The fact that we're like completely locked in. Yeah. And yeah. understand at least. I can't speak for everybody, but like, like, I think we're all like locked in to understand everything that's going on. That's yeah. pretty difficult to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. Yeah, well, and a Black lot of Sales characters, a lot of names Shogun. to learn. Yeah, yeah. Black Sail is really good, and I'm not a pirate guy, but that is, it is a phenomenal. I'm not a show, pirate right? guy. No, like, I'm not, not a pirate guy. It's not like a guy who's like, I, I seek out pirate stuff. I'm you know not I mean? saying I seek out pirate this stuff, but like, water. that's yeah. no, I'm just oh. not a pirate. No. You watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Hell yeah. I'm a body. That's a hell yeah, yeah movie. Until Pirate Armor, until Pirate Water sponsors like the Brack or something. <laughs> uh, oh, and you're back up. Um, before I give my third pick, it's already been on Netflix, but watch Moneyball as well. Great movie. I'll, I might as well give out a Sorkin trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> um, hell yeah. So do Social Network, Molly's Game, and Moneyball this weekend. And then, but my third pick, I'll do The Big Lebowski. Hell yeah. Mm, Second really favorite yeah. Coen's, probably the best Coen's movie, but. Uh, yeah, it's hilarious start to finish. I rewatched Blood Simple because that actor passed away from it. Uh, yeah. recently, man, it's fucking good. Way it's so it's way slower. I than have the not other seen ones, Blood Simple. It's good, good ass movie. Really good, very dirty movie. Like not like sexually, yeah. just very. So I'm going to give out Big Lebowski, but I'll probably watch Blood Simple this yeah. weekend. <laughs> uh, Gooch. Hey, listen, I'm giving out a movie I haven't seen. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I think I'll love it. 
And I think you guys would like it too. Uh, the Square from Ruben Austin. Oh, oh yeah, 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 hell yeah, good. Yes, movie. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about it. I'm going to watch it on Tuesday night, April the 2nd. You guys can watch it with me. Uh, <laughs> Wait, let's all start it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I like his, I like Force Majeure and I like, I really liked uh, Triangle of Sadness, despite not everybody loving it. And I so, you know, yeah. I'm going to get to his other filmography, Square. It's on, um, I think, Max. What was Let that? Double check. Yeah. The Square is on Max. What was the dog shit Force Majeure? Downhill? Downhill with, with Will Ferrell and Will Julia Louis. Louis. Yeah. So bad. So unbelievably bad. Um, Robbie Fox. Do I go back to back again? You do go back to back. It's tough. I had Lebowski. I had Social Network on my list. I'm going to go with uh, our king, George Lucas. American Graffiti is coming to Netflix. Oh, nice. That's very rarely on streaming, too. It really is. Yeah, I waited a really long time as like a Star Wars fan to watch this. I watched it for the first time in 2020 when COVID hit. I was like, let me go watch American Graffiti, see if it's worth hype. I really loved it. Like Mm -hmm. seeing a young Ron Howard, seeing a young Harrison Ford, just kind of like a slice of life 50s type deal. I thought that was really cool. And then I'm going to go, um, that's on Netflix. I'll go X2 on Hulu. Another movie nice. that's kind of rarely streaming. I don't know what the deal is with the first three X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. I thought Disney owned them. They're rarely ever on Disney+. Plus. They kind of bounce around. They're on Stars mm-hmm. sometimes. They're on like the random yeah. Cinemax streaming service, whatever. X2 is one of my favorite comic book movies ever. Hell yeah. The opening with Nightcrawler in oh, the White House. Yeah. Just classical, classical music right. player. Classical music. So good. You get Brian Cox's Striker. Yeah. The whole movie. You get Magneto teaming up with the X-Men. Yep. And actually being on their side. Tremendous. Elite Everything about Logan storyline. Yes. Elite Logan storyline. Elite ending with Jean Grey. Mm-hmm. Like actually a lot more emotional than her ending in The Last Stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Last Stand, yeah. yeah. Like, the Last Stand kind of stinks. Yeah. The, the first like act of it is great and then it falls off a cliff. Yeah. Which one opens up with Magneto escaping from the prison? Because that scene is incredible too. Is it X2? It's not X2 or is it X3? Opens with he, it. he escapes from the prison in X2, X2, but it doesn't open with it. It's yeah. not an opening with it. Because uh, that's the White feeding House. feeding him like an iron based diet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he like, like rip it out. He rips yeah. the iron out of him. That yeah. scene is. And he like has the balls like floating yep. as he's like. And he like uh, makes a floating platform yeah. for himself. It's oh, great. Cool. X2 is awesome. Cool yeah. that scene. Yeah, uh, we, we've been talking about the new X Men series, by the way. If you haven't started it, and you're an X-Men fan or watched the X-Men series growing up, definitely check it out. It's nostalgia bait, but it is so well done. It rips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to start that this weekend. Uh, Gooch, you're back up. Oh, we're doing more? Yeah, we got five each. Oh, I didn't know we were doing five each. You might have to skip me first. Name a movie. Name, Name a movie. <laughs> uh, Mishima, uh, Life in Four Chapters. Uh, I don't know where it's streaming, but watch it. I watched it again last night. Watched it earlier this year for the first time. Really loved it. Second time around, it's entered my all-time favorites list. It is Ooh. fucking phenomenal. It's like there's so many shots in it where you just are like, how the fuck did they do this in 1985? Directed by Paul Schrader, produced by Francis Ford Coppola yeah. and George Lucas. Paul Schrader of the Adam Friedland show fame. Paul Fre- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I loved when uh, Fre- when Adam Friedland got to it. He's like, so Mishima, that's a movie about a guy who's gay for swords. <laughs> 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 kind of is. Um, but yeah, no, so many like holy shit moments. Uh, the score is beautiful, done by Philip K. Glass. Um, highly recommend checking out. Highly, highly. Uh, I don't know where it's streaming, but check it out if you can. <laughs> Owen. I'll take you up on that. Um, so I have two spots left, right? Yes. All right. Hmm. It's a struggle. All right, we'll go Talladega Nights on Netflix. A little Ricky Bobby action. Um, probably my second favorite Will Ferrell movie behind Kicking and Screaming. That's uh, your number one. I love yes. Kicking and Screaming, but really, I never hear yes, that brought dude. up as a number one. Him and Ditka are unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Um, dude, the kid with the cup on his knee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the young song is yeah. Yeah. incredible. They make the superhuman. The lesbian parents. The fucking yeah. beans was one of the Just kids. Just right? to the Italians. Give yeah. the ball to the Italians. Yeah, the young song was great in everything, everywhere. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no, different guy. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Um, <laughs> What do you call it? The Beans was in it, right? I'm not crazy. Yes, yes, yeah, he, yes, was. Yes. he was. He yeah. was, yeah. Stephen Anthony Lawrence. Yes. He's got long ass hair and kicking Yeah, yeah, yep. So I wish I could be recommending that. But uh, Tyler Diggin Nights is fucking hilarious too. Sasha yeah. Baron Cohen as the Perrier driver. Yep. Um, yes, watching Southern Family Say Grace is good. Yeah. Gary yeah. Cole. It was uh, an early Bush voice for Will Ferrell. That's it right. Was good. Leslie early. Bibb. Woo. Mm. I walked by Leslie Bibb she goes near to my, my gym. apartment. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We yeah. live near each other. Mm. She. Uh, I just watched a clip of, I forgot she was in Tony, uh, Iron Man 2 
Or is it Iron mm-hmm. Man 1? Iron Man 1. She's the one who interviewed like, him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then obviously fucks him. Yeah. Yes. It's Tony Stark. Uh, Talia Day, good night. So great pick. Was that also, um, what's his name? Um, Adam like, McKay? Adam McKay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It, yeah. Uh, okay. Talia Day, good nights. I got back to back. I'll do... I can't believe. Adam McKay's like good at blending those genre things too. There's just yeah. like really good car sequences. Yeah, like, like and it yeah. just rips as like a racing movie sometimes. Continue. Really good racing sequences. Um, there's a couple here where I'm not. I can't believe they haven't been picked yet. And I'm not. I know I won't pick hmm. them out of solidarity because I think Gooch should pick it specifically. There's one here on Prime. Uh, so I'll go with first the Zone of Interest. Uh, Zone of Interest is coming to Max. Uh, it's just like an not winning movie. Just won an Oscar. Um, it's uh, haunting in every way you got to be in the right type of mood to watch i'm not saying like hey movie night with your girlfriend go fucking watch zone of interest not that type of movie uh but it's amazing just won two oscars was nominated for more it's good like sunday morning homework yeah yeah it's it's like, a little, maybe a chore is the wrong word but like it's it's intense it's very intense it's, but it's very good yeah like important yeah and like uh when a movie like that lauded comes to streaming that early it's like a kind of like a, it's a little treat for you mm-hmm. i mean fucking spielberg called it the best he called it the best holocaust movie since my own like, yeah I mean, that's high praise. Exactly. Um, And then secondly, I think I'll do just a fun movie I really love on Prime, Snatch. I love Snatch. Uh, Oh, yeah. Both ways. Uh, I love, (laughs) big, big fan of uh, Snatch. I think that any time, any movie with its Guy Ritchie doing um, crime comedy, like there's very few directors that have an iron grip on a genre, much like he has on crime comedy. And like, it's like Scorsese with mafia shit. And like Guy Ritchie with crime comedy. That's how yeah. fucking good he is at this genre. And he kills it every time he does it. I agree. I almost like don't like crime comedy not by him or Martin exactly. McDonough. It's like every time I find myself like comparing it to to his, I'm like, well, this isn't like Snatch and like Lockstock. It's not like even like The Gentleman or something yeah. like that. I was watching the Shane Black and McDonough stuff too, but like Shane, Shane Black's Black. got nice guys oh, and yeah. Kiss, yeah. Kiss, yeah. Bang, No, that's, bang, a, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. It's just, he has, he's just an ironclad grip on this. And uh, I think Snatch is one of my all time. I, it might be my number one from him. They're playing it the at new, uh, the Metrograph in like two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. It's my favorite guy, Richie, for sure. Yeah. Dude, the new wave of that, it. though, like the bullet train Argyle genre yeah, yeah, is yeah. truly my least favorite. That's no good. That stuff's no good. But this, I think, <clears> nice little small, like more small scope, I guess, maybe mm-hmm. is really, really good. Brad Pitt, I don't know where hysterical. What kind of accent does he do? He's, in he's it? doing like a, like, a, like a kind of like a gypsy accent, I guess. Yeah. 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 Do you but, like dags? Yeah, you like dags. So <laughs> the, very, uh, Periwinkle blue. Jason Statham. Um, <laughs> what's his name? The guy that played Capone in um, Boardwalk Empire. Stephen about, Graham? Uh, oh, I thought you were going to talk about the big dude. Um, what? In, in that? No, no. Stephen Graham, I, I think, plays. It does play. Uh, well, Jason Statham's like friend in it or whatever. And all the other actors, too. Like the main, like, I guess, like their version of like mafia boss yeah, dude Stephen is very Graham. funny. Uh, Vinnie Jones, that's who I was trying to think of. The like, theme of this movie is a instrumental by Oasis called Fucking in the Bushes. Really? And Oasis would walk on stage to it. And Pup Punk, like half of our shows, we walk on stage to it because I'm such yeah. an Oasis fan. <laughs> that's like, cool. Just play as hell. Fucking that's in the awesome. Bushes. That's awesome. So, yeah. And also, a, in a little uh, sort of Guy Ritchie story, and this is more, this is Lock, Stock, and Two Broke, or Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. They couldn't find a distributor for the movie. Uh, when they originally made it and like they couldn't find anyone to send it overseas like or anything like that and so one of the producers on the movie knew tom cruise and got him to come to a screening of the uh the movie and like when he gets there it's only like very low level executives from like the other yeah. production companies or uh distri- distribution companies and they're all sitting there and it's like like bored at, like sitting there doing nothing and then tom cruise comes in they all leave make phone calls and then bigger executives come down <laughs> and after the movie's over tom cruise is, like stood up and was like this is awesome. I think you'd be an idiot if you didn't buy this. So that makes Lockstock like, go overseas. Cruise said it. I guess we got to do it now. And then <laughs> that, that launches sick. the careers of Guy Ritchie, of yeah. Matthew Vaughn, of Jason Statham, of like oh, Matthew all these Vaughn guys. too. Shit. Yeah, because he was the producer. Yeah. Right? So like all these guys got their careers launched oh, no, by that dude. moment. Argyle. Argyle, Argyle <laughs> came. Fuck. Hey, but X Men First Class, but X fucking for, sick. And uh-huh. Kingsman, the golden, the yeah, first one. Kingsman is sick. The first I one. Seen either. The, the, oh, this is the, the first Kingsman. First one's really good. The oil skating scene in Argyle. It's that the was, funniest thing I've seen on a screen in like <laughs> years. I was dying Wait, laughing. Uh, that. You guys can spoil it. Was it the cat? It was. Oh, man. Spoil, uh, skip ahead 30 yeah, seconds yeah. if you don't want to spoil it. I read about it. Um, Our guy has it's, fast forward. It's uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. Her name, but her name is Rachel Kyle. R. Yeah. Kyle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
And she's got like amnesia, amnesia. right? Yeah. She, got, oh. yeah, she doesn't know anything. She got bonked in the Bro, head. Bro, here's yep. the craziest thing. They advertised that. Like, they, that was the synopsis yeah, 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 of the, the movie. Yeah, the original tweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah they were like, it's a that. movie about yeah, yeah, yeah. someone with amnesia, whatever. Yeah, crazy. Exactly. God damn. Yeah, they don't notice until it is. It's so stupid, and I think at points I'm like, it's kind of what Mark, Matthew Vaughn does. So like, I'm like, oh, I'll play along. But then the, that, that skating scene is just so, <laughs> it's so stupid. I loved it. Don't it so dumb. She's skating on oil with a fucking machine gun. Yeah. Just oh my god, it was bad. That's uh, some shit I would do though. Oh, and your last pick. <laughs> um, I will go with my favorite Tom Hanks role, Captain Phillips on Ooh. Hulu. Ooh, is it really your favorite Tom Hanks role? I've never seen this movie. Yeah. Oh, it's a good movie. Wait, you've never seen Captain Phillips? No. Come on, I've seen the I'm the Captain now. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah. That clip, you know? Classic. Classic. I forget that actor's name, but he- He's he now, a, he's been in more stuff since Yeah, he had a great that was his first role, good right? time a few months later. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, that movie is like, gets intense quick and stays intense and it's super fun when i won't like spoil anything but there's like a scene towards the end that it's similar to wind river yeah oh and like where i don't know it, there's tom makes like crying sequence or whatever where they get like like not a spoiler it's like a historical event like he gets rescued yeah like when he gets rescued that scene was like some of the better acting i've seen yeah tom hanks for sure little fun fact i'm friends with tom hanks bodyguard what <laughs> yeah I can't, it... I can't say much about it but yeah uh, do you remember Damn. He just plays such a convincing, just like dad you would know yes. in that. That's well, like, like while also roles. being a hero, but he's like so grounded. It was yeah. very good. Do, was it uh, Tom Hanks' niece that went on that reality show, yep. right? Yeah. And like flipped the fuck out and like was cry like, screaming at the top of her lungs because she lost the show or something <laughs> like that? That was she's been excommunicated. Yeah. <laughs> uh Gucci your last pick. Uh my last pick. Uh, he was in the news this week. He's got a. He oh just signed on uh, at Austin Butler to oh. do a baseball movie with him. Oh. Darren Aronofsky's uh, Black Swan hitting oh. Max. Uh, highly Whiplash recommend. for girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fact. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking, <laughs> movie rips. It's so no, good. no, no. Yeah. It, and me, Whiplash mm -hmm. for girls and me. I love yeah. that movie yeah, too. Yeah. It's yeah. If you like the obsessed artist kind of movie, this or is, lesbians, yeah, mm -hmm. or lesbians, uh, this is for you. Or Joker, uh, because it has the the mirror scene. Oh, it yeah, looks yeah, almost yeah, exactly yeah. like the same. That's like fully. From yeah that. yeah um yeah no great movie that um, movie's awesome also doing something with the lcb accounts this upcoming week if you buy any physical media the next week and you put a hashtag get physical and tag us i will retweet anything i will repost it on our instagram stories anything at all you're gonna bring people, physical media back you're gonna have people like tweeting you like a dvd of like cool runnings yeah you also have that. to say <laughs> where you got it what bookstore or what, whatever yeah. you got it from uh do so it black swan from gooch last pick of the draft robbie that was black swan is a huge one for a, a young robbie fox <laughs> um also i believe was originally that and the wrestler were the same movie and i think he broke them apart oh, and like really wrote. i've never heard that. yeah That's i'm pretty sure great wow. both great movies um so i have on my list right now, I have American Graffiti, I have Cloverfield, I have Role Models, I have X2, mm -hmm. a lot of like in your face, like either laugh out loud, funny and crazy action movies. I'm going to give you a complete oddball variety option here. Jiro Dreams of Sushi on Love Prime. Yeah. I had heard about this for so many years. Another one I didn't watch till maybe three or four years ago. And you hear one of the greatest documentaries ever. You're going to be watching this. You're going to be craving sushi right afterwards. And I kind of like put it off because I was like, it can't be that good. It's that good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it is a delightful watch. Really? Like I can't imagine watching oh, this yeah. and not liking it. So I'll put Jiro Dreams of Sushi on there. Give you a little variety across my entire list. I very rarely uh, will recommend a doc like that, like heavily. But like that one, I was like, it's very cool because you, you're you not going to see many documentaries where you follow someone who is like the 100% master at what the guy. Do. He is the like, guy. He knows every single minute detail about what he does. And he's, he's like 90 years old. He's and like forever. everyone, the respect everyone has yeah. for him is like crazy. Reverence. Like yeah. Obama's coming to his little fucking place in like yeah. a subway. It's, yeah. Like, it, it's like the worst. So not. I don't mean to disparage the guy, but it's the it's smaller than this room. Yeah, it's smaller than this room. It's like in a, literally in a subway stop. Yeah, and like he has like heads of state coming in to visit his sushi place because he's that he's yeah. that good, uh, and he has like his people going to fish. I think you can only stay day, for right? like the, there's like a time limit yeah. because they're trying to get people in and out. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Really good documentary though. Um, 
some left off the board before we get to the, or we can do the recap first. I have The Sympathizer on Netflix, Fallout on Prime, Black Sales on Netflix, Zone of Interest on Max, uh, Snatch on Prime, Owen has The Social Network on Max, Molly's Game on Netflix, Big Lebowski on Hulu, Talladega Nights on Netflix, Captain Phillips on Hulu, Gooch has Total Recall on Prime, Smoking the Bandit on Netflix, The Square, which was on, I didn't catch Max. It, on Max, uh, was it Mishima Life in Four Chapters? You can uh, rent it or it's on the Criterion channel. Uh, Black Swan <laughs> on Max. Robbie ha- Robbie Fox has... I've been watching uh, Green Porno on the Criterion the channel. G- Green Porno? Yeah, it's uh, Isabella Rosalini. She's an old Italian yeah. woman who... Oh, yeah. uh, she used to date Scorsese. Right? Oh, I didn't know that, but now she, <laughs> uh, she teaches kids how insects and bugs like have sex in these like oh, five minutes. She's got a great shorts. voice. I got I'm voice. very high when I watch these. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Robbie Fox's role models on Netflix, Cloverfield on Prime, American Graffiti on Netflix, yes. X2 on Hulu, Jared James Sushi on Prime. The holdovers didn't get drafted. It's on Prime. You know, I thought I about it, but I'm like, everyone's watching. Yeah. 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 Uh, the Bon Jovi documentary on Hulu. Dude, did I you see, almost did put you that say on Lone list. Survivor? Uh, did not That's know on Prime. Lone that is on Prime. If you need a little fucking Great hoorah, America yeah. rocks. You know? oh, yeah, I wanted to take the Bon Jovi doc because mm-hmm. I am a Jersey guy. I've seen Bon Jovi live, I think, like eight times in my mm-hmm. life, which yeah. is crazy. But he would come to Giant Stadium every year. It was kind of like tradition. Yeah. I lived down the road from him. It was like, yeah, we tailgate. We go see John Bon Jovi. Uh, welcome to Wrexham season three. I'm excited. That's about right. Four. I like that show. 51st mm-hmm. Dates on Hulu. Uh, that's a, that's no anytime watch. Oh, it is literally just a por- green porno. Yeah, huh. oh, I'm interested. It's nice. So uh, I've been learning about snails. And- yeah, no, Scorsese dated her, uh, um, which is wild because his like number one director of all time is her dad. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so that's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I mean, got I to, like, guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's like wh- he probably wanted it? to fuck the. Then dad. Edelman yeah. date Jerry Rice's daughter in like yes, high school. That's right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, prom, just like that. Yeah. Uh, Infernal Affairs trilogy is on Max. That's the inspiration for. Speaking of Scorsese, The Departed. That's based on yeah. Infernal Affairs um, Chinese movie series. Really, yeah, really I didn't. I didn't know that. You put that in the little thing you yeah. sent us. I had no idea The Departed was like based on. It's very like fascinating that. watching because like obvious, like it is almost like a one for one. In yeah, every spot. Like you, you, every character has their direct parallel. But it's three movies that it's The Departed is based on. You're saying. Yeah, it's three different movies. They're three separate. He based the Departed on the first one. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and like the guy, go- do you remember uh, Shang Chi, the the dad? Of course, that's Leo's character, I believe, in Infernal Ooh, Affairs. Uh, interesting. And there's other good actors in it too. Uh, Harry How Potter- does it compare to the Departed quality wise? Like, do people it's like, like it like better? Or no. So it's a little like, and it's also a Hong Kong movie. It's like a little goofier, but gotcha. like it's it's definitely not as good as the Departed, but also it's just it's not the star. Is, power is that like something where Scorsese admits that it was based yeah. on that? Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha, no, yeah, it's a direct adaptation. <clears throat> um, the Harry Potter collection, I'll come back to Max, but that just cycles in and out anyway. Baby Driver coming to Netflix. Great movie. Two really? canceled people in it, but damn, is it a good movie. I, I still have never seen it. Me neither. Only two. Really? I thought you love like Edgar Wright stuff. I do. I think Kevin Spacey. I was just like, I don't know. He's good in it, man. taste in my mouth. The thing about Kevin Spacey is he was like one of the best actors of his generation. Really if not like the best. <laughs> like, yeah, he's he's really phenomenal good. in everything. I could, and I could watch Seven because he's, cool he's playing himself in, in Seven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> but not, it's like, he's not as big a deal in baby driver like he's just kind of he's not like a main character yeah but he, isn't he wearing like cool leather bomber jackets he john no. ham is he wears like a oh, suit okay. yeah john okay. ham and like because i was with robbie i was like i don't know if i need to see yeah. a spacey on yeah bomber john right now. On it yeah yeah uh, there's right, a great cast me, the I michael myers the the gonzalez and i've heard yeah. it's very cool how they do like the diegetic music right yeah the music is incredible in it yeah. uh did you have you ever seen like the michael myers sequence from that no i've, I've never seen any of it they like the the robber comes like they're about to rob everything and the guy comes in he's like here i got you all your masks and like they're um uh like gold member masks of like <laughs> michael myers and he's like i told you to get a michael myers mask he's like he's like this is michael myers mask <laughs> that's funny very very funny um uh, what else ripley they're making like a rip you know like uh, um, yeah i didn't know that they're doing that i saw that I. on the list but neither did i and that's the guy who helped write Moneyball among many other very good movies uh hmm. Let me see. Pull up. Ripley is Ripley having a moment? In town, Mister Ripley. We had Saltburn <laughs> last year. Now we're getting a Ripley say, series. It's interesting that Saltburn and this were that close. The showrunner is this guy, Steve Z- Zion. Yeah, Z A I L L A N. Yeah, and he did uh, Moneyball, Schindler's List, Money, uh, Schindler's, Schindler's List, Moneyball, Mission Impossible, Gangs of New York. A bunch of, wrote a bunch of great stuff. Uh, wow. And yeah. it's based on Talented Mr. Ripley, the book. But they obviously had the adaptation with like Jude Law, Matt Damon, and mm-hmm. uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, I think. It's a girl. I'm not great at 
pulling uh like caster act but for money yeah. ball i could do the whole the whole <laughs> yeah. top and bottom yeah the, uh, i could do like the fourth grip on the, on the, the locker room scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah and then the last uh, i think that was like all my um honorable mentions Do you guys have any one of my favorites that i couldn't throw on my list because i drafted it the last time we did a draft mm-hmm. is source code coming to max i, I wanted you to draft it just source so you can code was the, source the bomb, bomb bro you were the bomb in source code it's my fucking movie um i had the matrix trilogy coming yep. to netflix 25th anniversary of matrix um i wanted to see it in theaters they put it back in theaters for a night but it was like uh-huh. sold out everywhere near me which was honestly cool to see and then i had a uh, wayne's world on prime one of the most rewatchable movies ever for me yeah all great ones. Do you guys have any other honorable mentions? Uh, no, not really. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's on Hulu. Rewatched that last week. That thing just gets better every time I watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, really love that. You used yeah, it on no. Movie Grid last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, needed a Leo with uh, starting with a vowel. Damn. Yeah, there we go. Didn't think about that. Uh, I'm going to go to the you, And up. you're allowed to use the, so the doesn't count. Okay. Uh, There's a big one. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Inception. Does that count? No, what the what's fuck the counts? Pr- Inception. What's the question? Inception. It's a Leo yeah. movie that starts with a vowel. Inception there's there's one count. more too that starts with the and then it's a vowel start. Huge movie. Huge. Not he, not like he, one of Leo's biggest movies, but The Great Gatsby. No. But you said one more that starts with the, so it I just wanted to. All right, a vowel. What is the it? and then a vowel? Oh. The Aviator. Uh, oh, duh. Yeah. Good duh. movie. All right, well, fun draft. Uh, We'll be back next week with a new episode. We'll see you guys then. (laughs) 